I'm going to set up the world's smallest all-in-one printer, the HP DeskJet 3755. Here's our contents, the actual device, power cord, an assortment of instructions. I'm going to follow this double-sided instructions. First the setting up the printer and then getting the app to finish the setup. Step one is to connect the power cable and it's keyed. So you do have to get it in just right and power on. Next we're going to set up the cartridges. Open the front door. The cartridge bays will center themselves. So for each one you pull off the tab. Pull this off for both. I'm going to do the colored one first. See that circuit board in the back? So I'm going to place the cartridge with the circuit board facing the back. And again, labels up. There. Push them in so they snap in real hard. They sort of go in and up slightly. Shut the door. Now the LCD panel indicates both cartridges are full. There's the color and the black and white. I'm going to pull up the paper guide, pull it straight up and lean it back. Now in here, see if you can see it. There. In here, you want to move this all the way to the left. And just place your paper in there and slide out the paper tray on the bottom. I'm going to first set up my computer and then I'll take care of my Android phone. So we're going to go to 123.hp.com, put in the model, desk jet 3755, select it, next, make sure it's powered on, and install the app. HP Smart. I'm going to allow. So accept. So accept any prompts. Selected the icon. You have to really jump through hoops to get. Starting the download. So the app downloaded and installed. It, I was not prompted to initiate the install. It did it all in one step. So I'm going to launch it. I was prompted with a user account control window and I allowed it, so I'm going to continue. I do not want to share. So I want to set up a brand new printer. So I'm going to put the printer in like pair mode, just for something to equate it to. So I'm going to hold down the wireless button and the cancel button for three seconds. So wireless and the cancel button. One, two, three. And the power light's going to blink for a few seconds, which it is. Now I'm going to go back and refresh my screen. I'm going to hit refresh to have it try again. There it is. Select it. Continue. Select continue to share your Wi-Fi credentials with your printer. Now it's starting printer setup, sending network info, it's giving us the little status, getting printer address. So basically it's connecting my Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi signal on the printer, sort of making like a bridge. So it's connected. We're going to continue our guided setup. Continue. A little disclaimer. Now I have to create an account since I don't have one, so I'm going to go ahead and proceed to do that. So I created my account and I've entered a verification code sent to my phone. Continue. This is taking a while. Okay, I'm going to continue. I'm going to put no instant ink right now. So open the printer door in front and you'll see the pin code just like they have it here. And it will not take any characters. So I'm going to open Task Manager. Close the smart printer and try to, well, it just closed on its own. I'm going to try to open it again, see if I can continue. I have to enter my pin to finish. The program launches just fine. 
There's no prompts to continue setup. So I'm going to try to print to it. So it looked like the setup finished even though I could not enter my PIN. And there it is. I'm going to select it and print. And it's printing. I'm going to set my new printer to be the default. So down at the bottom left, I'm going to go to printers. There's various ways to get here. You may prefer the old control panel way. That's fine. I'm going to select my new printer. And I'm going to hit the manage button. I'm going to set it as the default. You can also run a test page if you need to. And now look at the status. It says default. I'm going to load the HP Smart Program so I can do a scan. So bottom left in search, enter HP. I can right click on the app that appears and pin it to start or to the taskbar for easy access. I'm just going to launch it. When it comes up, you see your printer status, ink supply volumes. Down here are all the function buttons. So I'm going to select scan. And this is your presets, which you can change. If you want to scan in black and white, change the resolution, document or photo. So document will be default PDF, of course. We have auto enhancements and auto orientation on. So if I feed it the wrong way, it'll probably correct it. So now I'm going to cut the camera over to the device so I can show you how to load the paper. So after you've loaded the paper, then you press the scan button. Document face up, put the paper toward this guide, and now listen carefully. You hear it sort of grab. Once you hear that, just for like a half a second, then you hit scan on the application. Got the paper loaded, scan. There's my image. If I need a second page, I can click the plus icon at top right. Again, load my paper. Got to hold it for a second to hear that little tiny feed and then hit scan. I will probably rig a clear piece of plastic, maybe just a few inches long, so I don't have to hold the paper up for a second or two. My pages, page one, page two. Now you can print, save, share. If I select save, File Explorer will come up and I can browse to the location I want to save and then add a name. Now look at this, three dots. I can edit this. I can crop it adjust it. Let me see. Brightness, filters, yeah. You can add text. So this could come in handy. I'm going to hit cancel. If I select one and select replace, it'll just scan a new page to replace that one. So if it didn't feed right or what have you. If you back out of the preview without saving, you'll be prompted that you're going to lose your document. So I do want to lose it. Go back one more time to home. You can go right to printing, printer settings, go to help. This is pretty basic. Now I'm going to move on and add the printer to my Android phone. So um, on my Android phone, I'm going to go to 123.hp.com. And you can scan the QR code on the instruction sheet, but depending on your default browser, it may not work. If you're using Chrome, it should work fine. You have to accept the cookies. Make sure it's powered on and install. And it should install for your device's OS. It should detect it. So I tap the install button. I have an Android, so it's opening up in the Play Store. I'm going to open it. Now I have my Android connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the HP printer. Accept the agreement. I'm going to sign in and I'm going to use the same account that I set up earlier. So I've signed in and now I have a similar screen that you saw on the HP Smart app. I can scan. It'll use my camera. I can print. Let me scan something. I'm going to drag the borders of the document. This isn't really a text document, so it's not really too fair to the app. So once I have that, pretty good. I'm going to hit next. Cool. Okay, I need a plugin, so I'm going to tap continue to get it. Yeah, I noticed on drawings or artwork, it doesn't do good at guessing the orientation. Accept the agreement. Now open the HP Smart app. 
And I'm going to hit the printer icon. And it's printing. That was actually pretty painless. I was able to follow all the prompts very easily. There's my printout of my scan. One more feature that we should go over is color copy and black and white copy. And you can look at the guide for these other ones. So I'm going to make a black and white copy. Place my document in there, just like with the scan. So place it in there and then press the button. It's spitting out my copy. The device is very nice. I don't really think it's appropriate if you do a lot of printing or a lot of scanning, but for my purpose, it's perfect. It seemed a little noisy, so I moved the hero on this table, a little more stable, and I put it on some foam, and that did seem to help significantly. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you.